what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask um, four of my buddies to pose a question about your work, and then you have the floor. You can answer any of them, all four of them, one of them, whatever. You're, you're just going to hear some questions. Kate, do you, are you ready for a question for Erica? Her work is so visual and about um, kind of found or accidents of text. Uh, as they appear in the world. And I wonder if she ever transcribes that language onto a conventional page. Okay, great and, question. And what, what that does to it, if she does do that. Love that question. Erica Kaufman and then Jack. I was thinking about something a bit similar um, and wondering about you know, the myriad of ways of reading any of your texts and how you imagine your reader or how a reader might approach um, the different works. Beautiful. Jack and then Lily. I was wondering about your relationship with the libraries themselves and what is it like to be there and to spend time with them and the, to spend time with these texts and then um, what is what gets captured or lost and how it sits with you afterwards. I would love to hear about that. Thanks. Great question. And Lily Applebaum, the last of these four questions. Hi, Erica. Um, do you agree with our categorizing your work as conceptual mm. or unoriginal? Is this where you would file your own work in our syllabus? Those are all great questions, and they're all so different. And it's I don't I don't if I jump in, it's not because one of them I prefer over the other, but some might I might have more to say about some. Um, I'm going to start actually with the first one about transcribing because that's something I don't think people have asked me very often. I have tried doing that. I have a series of work I did where I photographed old police blotters and I was looking at the narrative, sort of the sort of subtext sense of a narrative that you got from the little entries. And I wrote them all out because they felt so literary to me. Um, but, you know, when I do that, and I used to do that a little bit more with some of my other projects, just to kind of get a handle on the material. As, as an aid to the selections I was making, but I haven't done that in a long time. But I think it's a really interesting question about, the, you know, which would sort of lend itself to how I think about the words I'm, I'm looking at. And I'm going to jump to the next question of, um, about how I ex think about how people read it. And I really, it's interesting with the card catalogs, I'd say that the focus, the way that there's a, um, a, ten, a focus on some of the words more than others for me gives lends itself to a certain chronology of how you might approach the words. So you might see, you might read the the one that's in focus first, and the one that may be behind it, that's out of focus second, and they kind of work together. That it's one, and then it's almost like the the one that's blurry is like a background retort. Um, and um, trying to remember, oh yeah, the library. So. Um, I have a lot of wonderful memories of going to my neighborhood library when I was a kid. It was very evocative. And we didn't really, for children's books, I really would go to the library and reread the books, my favorite picture books when I was little. That was how I, you know, it was very much a part of our lives. And um, so I think that it starts from early childhood. And was there another question? I can't remember now. What, was there a final question? Uh, yeah, Lily wants to know whether you're okay being in week 10. Oh, yes. Well, I like to say that I'm happy to wear many hats, and I, I sort of embrace the different ways people might think about my work because they're, they're sort of overlapping communities and, and different interests that people have. So I actually am happy with all the different ways someone might um, think about the work. I, I don't um, feel, because of that, like I myself have to be an adherent to any one of those groups. So I, I think that they, they're all inspiring to me in conceptual ideas are very inspiring to me, but they're not really, um, I don't work from the point of starting with a theory and then working. I tend to work more visually and thinking and reacting and then um, being res having it have an affinity or resonance with conceptual ideas. So, Thank you. That was I great. It's, a, it's almost as if you spend every day fielding random questions and then answering them systematically. You're, you're like a natural born <laughs> teacher. 